Hey guys, the Chief Ash here again to do yet another October Quest review. Today I sat down and I watched Red State, which is a movie that I loved when it came out. And I just thought about it today out of nowhere and uh, decided to go ahead and check it out. Felt like it was kind of appropriate. It's, a th it's more or less a... Uh, it's, it's not really horror. It's got more of a thriller aspect to it, but it definitely it deals with a lot of similar themes to horror. And it kind of is a Kevin Smith stylized look at the modern world and how it is today. The main thing about this movie is the kind of it kind of portrays the fact that the evils of uh, so the, the 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 movie highlights the evils that are currently in the world. You know we. They even reference the Westboro Baptist Church in this, in this movie, um, uh, and you know some of the stuff people do. And there's a little monologue John Goodman has at the end where it's um, uh, he's referring to uh, the essentially nature of man. So this is very much a look at the you know quality of human beings. It deals with the you know the argument whether or not uh, you're born good or bad, or it's you know, a result of your environment. So it's it's very interesting in that. It's shot in a very interesting, like, a very visually pleasing way. It's kind of got a, almost like a Tim Burton-esque filter on it where it's kind of got the black and white. Not quite to the extent of Tim Burton, but it's kind of washed out in that way. But it, it works because of the highlighting of, uh, you know, the, the purpose of the film is to highlight all these things about human nature. So it kind of puts that drab and dreary feeling on it, which works really well. And then it has all the... Uh, Oh, the deaths and things like that and then you feel really bad for the people and the storytelling is done in such a way that anytime anyone it doesn't matter if they're good or bad if they if if they happen to die you you get you you kind of you're kind of like oh like you feel for them even if they're part of the re religious fanatic craze people that are just kidnapping people and kill, you feel bad for everyone in this movie it's very well done storytelling wise and then I remember when I first watched it, the only thing I didn't like about it was the ending, and watching it again, I actually quite liked the ending. Uh, the reason why I didn't like it originally, it's, it's kind of, I, usually I, my, my opinions don't change, I'm kind of stubborn in my ways, and even when this came out, and I was, you know, but a wee teen, um, uh, usually when I would watch movies back then, my opinions don't really uh, change at all when I, uh, from then to now. But on this one, it really did, because uh, the way, with, with the ending, uh, when I was... Uh, Younger, I would have said that it was a kind of a cop out almost. Uh, it was, it was, it's the the ending is really convenient, and and it, I mean, and admittedly, it is younger me isn't wrong. It is a convenient ending, but the experiences I've had between now and then uh, kind of led me to realize that that's the kind of stuff happens. And when you watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, I'm doing another, you know. Trying not to give those spoilers away. I was bad at that for a while, but I'm learning. So, um, uh, with, with watching it, you can tell. But it's it's definitely... Th as convenient as the ending may seem, that stuff does happen in, in real life. Uh, random stuff that is super mega convenient happens all the time with each other. So, the fact that the ending is, conven is a conven convenient plot device... Yes, that could be an error in storytelling, but quite frankly, it works because I've experienced things like that now, and it's 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 one of those I've had a change in life view on stuff like that. I've 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 been in this situation where you know you you get in a car wreck and you look to your left and you happen to be by a towing service and stuff like that. I I've seen those things happen, and that's essentially um uh, that's a very um uh, <laughs> blotted down example, but that's that's kind of how convenient the ending is. It's just like, oh, well, you know, that happened at the perfect time, but that happens in real life. Um, uh, but I would not discredit somebody from saying that took away from the movie, but watching it this time and having my experience as it were, younger me opinion has changed to older me's. I, I enjoyed the ending. And then, uh, the way the, the, there's like a little interview at the end and it's, it, it's, it's done well. Um, and just the the storytelling on the way when I was because uh, I've only I think of I think this is only the second time I've seen this movie which I really loved it the first time but I just kind of let it linger right the, I only thought the only thing I didn't like about it was that one thing and 
it's one of those things sometimes I just like to let it sit with me because it is I don't know it just it sits better like that I'm a big theater goer you know you when you watch it you get to see it one time and then it stays there and that's kind of how I was letting this movie go but thinking about it I wanted to watch it again and it's definitely it was definitely worth it for the second time I was very enjoyable it's not super long and I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a rather big Kevin Smith fan and uh, his idea of horror in this is awesome and it is definitely like a like a It's a shot at, you know, politics and, you know, structuralized religion and stuff like that. Radical religion, actually. Not just any structuralized, but radical religion. And it is, it's definitely worth the, it's definitely worth the time, worth worth the watch. Uh, The acting is amazing. If I remember correctly, there were some Oscar noms uh, that came out of this movie. Uh, The entire... I mean, the entire premise of the movie is very interesting. It's something that I'm surprised hasn't been delved into more, which is you know the the religious fanatics doing stuff. And I know there's you know there's there's those there's old movies with them and stuff like that. But this was more of a a modern look at it, and it was very well done. And it's with those you know religious fanatic movies. I mean, movies that are based on uh, cults and things like that. You often run into the fact that they they're kind of muddled. They're cheap. The storytelling's not very strong, and, and you'll run into all this stuff. But in this movie, you kind of get uh, in the in the little religious fanatics cult thing. You get individualized characters coming out of that, people with different looks at that specific religion, and it it, it almost builds itself into because Kevin Smith, like as much as it is modeled after the Westboro Baptist Church, as I said, they bring them up in in the movie. They actually bring up that church, but uh, this one is essentially. A web weaved by Kevin Smith. It has similar structures to Westboro, but even more so radical. Instead of uh, they refer to uh, Westboro as being like the people that want to be sued. You know, they, they're they're out there to just try to get the money. Whereas these people are actually like terrorists. They their end goal is to, you know, uh, attack public, you know, places because of you know the sinners and things like that. And in this movie. And this is the basic plot of the movie. But the, the whole thing is that the idea is that they kidnap people that they find as, like, mortal sinners. And, I mean, for a while there, there was rumors going around that that's what um, uh, our friends in Kansas uh, do. So I did this because Kansas is literally that way. It's right there, like a mile and a half. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I'm in Kansas City, by the way. So, yes, um, uh, Kansas. So, anyway, Red State. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch the movie. The acting is great all the way around. There's even there's a kid actor that says one line. Awesome. Great line. It was very well done. The cinematography is awesome. The sound design. There was a song that was played and they did the whole transfer while it's in the car. And I felt like that was one of the most effective ways I've seen that done. Great, 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 great movie. I hate that I haven't watched it more. But I may, you know, I may take another break from it because it's one of those. It's just, you just want to... You want to think about it and you just want to let it sit and maybe not renew it right away. So it's definitely, you need to watch it, maybe wait a while and watch it again because it's crazy. It's an amazing movie, very good to watch. This has been the Chief Ash on Red State for another October Quest review and keep watching.